Now we'll see what is the electrostatic boundary condition. So for this, let us consider two infinite dialectic medium which is separated by a boundary. So these two mediums will have a dielectric constants say epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 with sigma 1 and sigma 2 equal to 0 that is their conductivities are equal to 0. So as told earlier we will be first seeing what will be the tangential component for this electrostatic boundaries. Okay, so let us consider a rectangular path A, B, C, D, A of length delta Y and of height delta Z which is placed half above and half below each medium. So let their tangential components be ET1 and ET2 respectively. And we know that The, according to the work energy theorem, E dot dL is equal to 0. This is nothing but work done in moving a charge in a closed loop. So according to this, if you are applying to this above equation which is having a A, B, C, D and A. So now we will be applying this above equation for this rectangular path of A, B, C, D, A. So we will be getting closed vector E dot D L is equal to first my A, B, next B, D, D, C and C A. Okay. So now A B E dot D L is equal to plus D C E dot D L plus C D E dot D L plus your E dot dl equal to 0 according to your conservation of theorem. So now if this line integral is being neglected we will have bc and da ok that to be 0. that will be equal to 0 okay if you are considering this line because we are considering only the tangential path okay so this will be the basic expression so now since these both are 0 I'll just have my closed integral dot d is equal to I'll have only a b plus C D D L that is equal to 0. So now this because of my A B I will be having my E T 2 path and because of my C D I will be having a minus negative which is in the opposite direction. Okay. So now so this will have E T 2 into delta Y plus E T 1 minus delta Y that is equal to 0. So this will finally give me E T 2 will be equal to E T 1. Okay. Now putting this value in the integral you just have D N 1 del X del Y minus D N 2 del X del Y is equal to rho S 
del x del y which is nothing but the charge enclosed so taking all the common of del x del y you just arrive at del n1 dn1 minus dn2 is equal to rho s so when these two dielectrics are in contact the charge will not be present okay when the dielectrics are in contact the charge will not be present so this charge will become zero if they are in contact so i can just arrive at dn1 is equal to dn2 so normal component of field density is continuous across the boundary of two dielectrics therefore again i can arrive at d already we have seen at epsilon into e1 okay this is epsilon into e so for d n1 i'll be just having epsilon 1 e n1 this being a normal component next d n2 is epsilon 2 into e n2 so equating these two i'll just have that is just putting in the above expression epsilon 1 e n1 is equal to epsilon 2 e n2 therefore e n1 by e n2 will be equal to epsilon 2 divided by my epsilon 1 so this is a normal component of e when it is not continuous across the boundary of my two dielectrics okay so this is a basic expression what we have arrived for your dielectric dielectric for a normal component okay